turn social media traffic into website traffic with magic. I'm Carolyn, your favorite marketing nerd and owner of Bad Axe Enterprises. I believe that you can rock your marketing without wrecking your mental health in the process. So let's do that. Not, not, not really. Turn your social media traffic into website traffic with a lot of intentional planning and thoughtful content creation. But let's do that. First, ask yourself what action do you want your clients to be taking when they land on your website? Do you want them to sign up for your newsletter? Do you want them to book a service with you? Do you want them to order your panini recipe book? Whatever you want people to do on your website, we're gonna start formatting your social media content around that action. If the goal is to drive newsletter signups, you're going to use your social media presence to just light it up about how much industry expertise you have. Showcase your unique expertise, your good taste, your writing skills, whatever it is. Then let people know that they're going to get even more of what they already love, all the high value content that you provided for free on social media. They're going to get even more of that in your newsletter. So for example, if you're a fashion icon and people love it when you share outfit inspiration and shopping lists or, you know, the thrift hack or anything like that, share that on your social media, but then let people know that if they go to your website and sign up for your newsletter, they're going to get even more juicy details than what you're sharing on social. And they're going to believe you because what you're sharing on social is so good. Another example, if you're rebuilding your dream car, your 1940 Volvo Amazon, whatever, and you share, you know, project updates on your social media, let people know that on your newsletter you have even more detailed links for like what products you're using, um, super, super in-depth descriptions of what the process is looking like, basically providing even more value than what you're already sharing on your newsletter, so that'll traffic people over to your website from your social media. If you want to drive social media viewers to your website to like book services or things like that, show off what it's like to work with you. Um, you can do this through behind the scenes of a session with you, whatever that looks like, explaining what people can expect when they show up to work with you what type of people you work with, kind of let them see like, oh yeah, I could definitely see myself. I am this type of person that they're describing. I could see myself taking that service. Just really paint a very detailed picture about what it's like to work with you. And testimonials, if you have them, can play a really huge part in this type of a social to website traffic campaign. Once people get on your website, they already trust that what you're doing is amazing because they've been so well informed on social media about your services, about what to expect, and about what transformation is going to take place. It's a no-brainer when they press book on your website. All right, your amazing panini cookbook. You want, or I mean, really any product, but <laughs> I'll just say panini cookbook for now. Your amazing cookbook, you want to sell more copies of it. So your social media presence needs to build a lifestyle story. What makes these recipes so delicious? What will aspiring panini chefs learn from your expertise? Why is it such an awesome cookbook? And then also, what is the vibe of the cookbook? Is this something that's directed for quick bites for busy bosses or is it more luxurious sandwiches and snacks to linger over what's the vibe your photos and videos and your caption writing on social media can tell that story and make sure that the right people for your cookbook are going to have their expectations met because if somebody is buying this cookbook thinking oh these are going to be great quick sandwich recipes that my kids are going to love and it's more pointed for higher palates, more refined, more expensive ingredients, like caviar, I don't know, caviar panini. If it's pointed towards the wrong audience and the wrong audience shows up to buy, that's not great. That's not going to be beneficial. So paint a really clear picture about who the product is for, 
why it's so amazing and make them really see themselves enjoying the product or getting something from it. Key takeaway, use your social media to tease about the greater awesomeness that's going to be available on your website. And always keep the action that you want people to take in mind when you're building your content. Are your wheels turning? I cannot wait to see it, so drop your brand's social links below so that I can see how you start working these tips into your content plan and driving people from your social media presence onto your website. Until next time, stay badass. You know what to do next.